hail. Today we're going to make an Aztec Sun circular weaving. And it's very easy. You can do it at home. Um, at school, I've got a template cut out or drawn out for you to cut out. If you don't have one of these, you can use a paper plate. The trick is we need an odd number of lines going around odd numbers so that's going to help keep our weaving pattern going. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out my circle and I'm going to cut along each one of my 13 lines. And like I said, if you're at home, you're going to make one with a paper plate, any odd number is fine. 11, 9, Okay, and now I have my weaving loom. This is going to be our loom, which is a helper for weavers. The next thing I'm going to need is some yarn. And I'm just going to start with one piece. I would say your pieces of yarn should be about the length of your arm. Um, once you get the hang of it, you can go a little bit longer. But to get started, if it's too long, it's just harder to handle. So I'm going to hold my yarn so that I have a short tail about the length of my finger and I'm going to slip this piece of yarn right between two of my flaps on my loom and then that way there's a little tail hanging out the back. I'm going to lay my loom down. I'm going to hold that tail so I don't yank it out when I'm weaving and then I'm going to hold my piece of yarn near my plate and I'm going to go over one flap and then under the next and then over one and then under the next. Once I go over and under a couple times I don't have to hold that tail anymore. Just when you're getting started you might yank it out if you don't have a little hold on it. And I'm just going to continue the pattern of over, under, over, under, over one, under one. So for my pattern, if I did this, would that be keeping with my pattern? No, because I went over, under, over, over. It's over, under, over, under. And the more I go around, the more these little strips of yarn are going to fill up my circle. I'm about to be at the end of this first one. I'm just going to leave the end of this side of my yarn hanging out the back is a short tail as well. So once I don't have any more yarn then I can just leave this short tail hanging out the back with that one. And no one will ever see the back so we're good with those tails just sitting there. Next piece of yarn we start, there we go, <clears throat> we're going to hold it the same way with the short tail about the length of my finger. And I'm just going to pretend this green string is turning into the red string. So my green came in here, so I'm going to come out right next to it and I'm going to hold the tail and continue my over under pattern. And I can do that with as many pieces of yarn as I have time for or if I or as many pieces of yarn as I have room for. And I'm going to continue my over one, under one pattern until I run out of time or room. Now while I'm weaving, I don't want to tug the yarn too tight because that might squish my um, paper flaps together. So I'm going to hold my yarn close to my plate, but I'm not pulling it super tight. I'm just gently sliding it between my flaps. So I'm finishing up this purple piece of yarn. I'm going to leave a short tail hang out the back and we're going to say I'm out of time because look, I'm not out of room. I could add a few more colors of yarn 
if I had more time, but I don't have to. It looks great just like this. You can see this one. I've got a little bit more of my space filled up with yarn, but it's fine filled up or it's fine with space left over. Now, if I had more time, I could squish these rows of yarn together and try to fit in some more yarn. Um, but if we run out of time, we can work with this just like that. So once we finish with our yarn, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw that Aztec sun face. And you can draw your face really however you like. I was trying to find a black crayon. There's one. Um, but in the center circle is where you'll draw your face. And you can see on this one, I've just got some extra shapes and lines in places to make it a little bit interesting and not look 100% human. But it has human features like the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So I'll do this one a little bit different. Maybe instead of a horizontal line, maybe I'll do a straight line coming down like this. And I'll do two eyes. And that's great for the face in the middle. That's fine. And then around the edge, we just want to create those radial patterns to uh, repeat going around in a circle. So even something as simple as some straight lines going out, if they repeat the same in each space, we've got those radial patterns. So I'm just going to keep it very simple with straight lines. Maybe I'll add to it later. I'll start with these. <laughs> 